I'm going to talk about the Monoprice Mini SLA, the resin printer, and what I'm going to talk about is a few things uh, that you need to know if you've bought this printer and that uh, could really help you out. So first of all, one of the most famous mistakes that happens with the Monoprice is that sometimes the sharp corners like this uh, will end up being printed double. So even though your printer only has one of these spikes, it might print out two of those. It's a common mistake. Um, they say that once you do a firmware update that is solved, I've done it, but it still happens. So uh, <laughs> they say a lot of things such as uh, the wireless works, but most people can't get it to run. Um, their website is not very good and uh, a few geniuses have been able to get it to run but you know I've bought three of these machines and all three of them had um, issues with the with the Wi-Fi if you ever do get it to run it will crash if you're trying to um, if you're trying to send large print files you know that have lots of polygons on them to and from the printer so as far as I'm concerned the wireless does not work on this machine it's imperfect, it's false advertising, they need to really fix it. As far as um, does the thing print, and does it print well? Yes, it prints very well. Don't expect it to print very well out of the box, you're gonna have to do a lot of testing, a lot of changing um, settings in uh, Cheeto Box. that's the software that I use. Uh, you could use other softwares too, I guess, with it, but um, it won't just print this well out of the box. They have an uh, amazing Facebook group and uh, people on there are extremely helpful. They, they help you with everything you need including how to fix the machine if the machine breaks down. So that you can count on. But their customer service, um, their customer service is horrible. It's probably the worst that I've worked with um, so far. When it comes to 3D printing, I mean, I've been 3D printing for a long time. I've done work with um, plastic machines and now res resin-based machines. And uh, I'm still waiting for my refund um, label so that I can send my broken Monoprice Mini back to the factory. And uh, you try to call these people on, well, not call, but use email because that's the easiest way to contact them and they disappear like for three or four days at a time and um, yeah that's where we are with the customer service so if you're buying this printer for the customer service uh, look elsewhere um, as, again as I said as far as the prints go you can make some really really good prints uh, you can see here the details on these things are fantastic but again it's hard work it's not like you buy the printer you you set it up and you're ready to go. So that's something to think about. This printer does have a lot of good features, uh, especially for beginners in the sense that you don't have to level the print bed. It just does that work for you. Uh, but then you also have issues with screens that um, are not very um, stable and not very strong. So there's some drawbacks with that. If you ever do need to replace a screen, it's very expensive. It's one of these things. Uh, you have to replace the whole light box. Uh, you could try to replace the screen on its own, but it's very difficult to do. Uh, you have a much better chance of getting this to work if you change the entire light box as it is. Uh, also, if you do decide to do this by just buying a uh, third-party screen and putting it on, it requires you to also buy um, masking tape and making sure that the masking tape adheres properly and make sure that it is even throughout so that the um, the printer can level properly so a lot of room for ever there so something to think about but um, I bought this machine I like it I use it a lot and um, so it really depends on how much effort you're willing to put in. If you think that you want something that's super easy to use, 
I think resin printing as a whole is not one of the easier um, 3D printing uh, ways to go. It's extra messy. I think you should go with plastic. But um, just generally speaking, okay, I can't say that this is the worst printer in the world. It's pretty good for the price. Uh, there are now a lot of other printers that are in the same price range, like $200, that do a better job than this printer and have a better customer service, uh, such as Frozen. The Frozen Mini uh, Sonic has far better customer service. And uh, other machines like the Photon S and Creality um, have, have better customer service to rely on. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.